friends, welcome to Becky Daniels Home. Today I am going to share with you a fun little project. I um, had a bomb, this Bombay chest and it was the original brown and it had like some little painted flowers on it. And I decided to paint it this turquoise and did a, um, a distressing and waxing on it. Well, the reason I did that is a while back we made these really cute little framed bird nests and I did the little sheet music in there. We distressed the frame. I loved this frame finish so much that it led me down the rabbit hole of finishing this chest. <laughs> See how things happen like that? Well, especially in my world, they happen like that. Well, this afternoon, I decided that it's time for me to doll this little cutie up. Well, what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to go around the house and rob Peter to pay Paul, if you will. And so I grabbed a couple different lamps that I think are going to work. And I actually was at the Hobby Lobby and I bought two different prints. They were on sale and I liked both of them. So I bought those. I'm not really sure what all we're going to be doing, but this is our inspiration. This little cutie is definitely going to be used. And then I was in um, Phoenix area and I was at a really cute little home decor shop and I picked this up. And I love these cathedral windows. This is so beautiful. So I think what I'm going to do first, you guys, is I'm thinking I'm going to hang this first and then we're going to kind of build around it because this is going to be definitely the biggest piece. So I'm kind of thinking here. I'm looking at this. I, I really don't want the items to go too much further oh, um, on either side of my chest here. So I'm thinking I'm going to kind of go like right about there with this. So I've got a couple little nails here. I'm just using little finish nails. And there we go. Let's see how that's going to be. Oh, you know what? I think that's going to be perfect. Now, what I want to do is, I've got a couple lamps, so I know that I want to put a lamp on this chest, so I'm thinking on this side we'll do the lamp, and that's going to balance out the height here and here, and then we can fin fill in the, th the middle part. So I have this lamp, and that would look pretty good, I like that. It might be a little heavy, it might be a little big. So let me see what the other lamp looks like. It's a little bit smaller. That one. Oh, you know what? I think that's going to be perfect. Yeah, let's use that guy. Yep, I think that's going to be great. So now I've got this here going on. I'm okay with that. That looks pretty good to me. Now the center part right here is where I definitely want to use our inspiration piece for sure. And then... Sorry that I, you guys can't see this stuff. I have all kinds of stuff. I have a whole treasure trove of stuff down here because I wasn't sure what I was going to use. But anyway, I've got this really cute little sign that says love never fails. I think that was really sweet. And I love, I wanted to tie in some of the, the aqua there. And then I bought this one here that says then sings my soul. And this is so cute. It's got the little bird on it. So I'm not sure which one we're going to use, but I'm kind of thinking... This guy will go down here, and then one of these will go above it, and I really love that. I love that. I think that's going to look really good. So, let me look at this one. Oh, you know what? They're both equally adorable. They're so adorable. Um, oh golly. I think, I think, I think I am going to go ahead and do the Ben Sings My Soul just because I kind of like the, fr the color of the frame and the height of it just to fill in that space. So I think that is going to work out pretty darn good there. So I'm going to go ahead, where my finger is, I'm going to go ahead and put my nail. I usually would go, I would normally, you know, mark it and stuff, but this is such a simple little project, I don't have to get that complicated. Adorable. 
Now let's do our cute little, um, this has got a different hanger on it. Let's hang our cute little framed nest. On this little framed nest, you guys, I actually put some fresh lavender that I had gotten from the lavender farms in Boise. And boy, is it fragrant. I'm just sitting here smelling it. It's just, they're amazing. Heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. And I went ahead and I did the twigs and um, I can't see the back of this thing. I did the twigs and the lavender because I wanted it to have an, a little natural element with that nest. Okay, so I love this. I think that looks fantastic. So now I'm thinking on the chest itself, I've got a couple options here. I've got a little lavender that popped off. So I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna use the back of the print like a tray. I have, um, I made actually, which we will be posting the video for this, the, this little footed riser, the little pedestal tray. I love these things, you guys. I love these so much. I, I do wanna use this on the, on the table, or the chest, I mean. So I'm thinking about putting this one here. And then I have a couple flower things. This, I know these flowers aren't gonna work, I don't think. I bought this, this is an antique ceiling tile that they had turned into kind of a wall hanger slash vase. And I just bought these picks and stuck them in just, I haven't arranged them yet, but just kind of stuck them in to see if I like them. So I'm not sure if I want some height and color against the, the um, cathedral window. I don't think I like that. I think it's a little bit too much. So I'm gonna set that aside. But I do have a, another project that we did was this um, canning jar. And we painted them and then I just put twine around it with a little metal, this I got out of the jewelry department. It says Grace. And then I just put a little simple little arrangement in that little jar. I think that might look really sweet here. Yep, I think that is the perfect little accent, little accent arrangement for that. So what I did is I just grabbed some random things. You know, like I said, I was robbing Peter to pay Paul. So I've got these random, I got a little nest. Oh, this was a project that we made also. The little distressed clay pots that I turned into a little bird nest. I think this is adorable. Um, and that will be cute tying in with our little theme of the, the frame and nest. So I have a candle here and I think the candle might kind of look nice as a backdrop. Maybe we'll start with that over here. Yep, I like that. And then I have the little pot that will look sweet there. And then I've got a nest that I made. I just put like a, took a little antique tart uh, pan and put an egg in it with a little bit of greenery and a nest. That's kind of sweet. That might look cute there. I might actually sit that one down over here. I like that. I've got this little sign that says happy. I like that. And well, I got a little bird. That's pretty sweet too. You know what, that looks pretty cute actually. I could take the nest and change that out since I got a nest there and do home. But I don't like the home and happy together. I do have this little sign that says, do what makes you happy. We like that too. That's a little bit too much. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to the little pot. I think I like the pot. I like that. That's a little bit too much. Let's see about the home. Nope, I don't think I really need that. But that. And then I, you know, the beaded garland. There again, you guys, this was another project that we did. I love these things. I use them. This one says hello. I use these things all over the place. I just, I'm kind of a little bit obsessed with them, to be honest with you. I just think they're magical. Let me see about that, if I want to put that on there. A little contrast. Nope, don't like that either. So I think this is it. For right now anyway, I think this is how 
This little cutie is going to be, I mean, I'm going to uh, put that little nest right there, arrange that a little bit. Okay, voila, we've got it all dolled up. I'm kind of thinking now that I look at it, you know, if I didn't have this here, if I decide to remove this later, I might put a uh, eucalyptus wreath or a boxwood wreath up here for something different. I think that's going to look great. But this is definitely going to get me into spring and then into summer with this little cute little uh, vignette. I love it. I'm obsessed with the turquoise, all because of one little framed bird nest. How about that? That's just how things go sometimes. But anyway, this was fun. It was a fun project. I'll share with you guys um, how I did this chest and um, look forward to the videos. We'll look for actually the videos on all these different projects that we've done. So anyway, stay tuned for more projects. If you like it, let me know. And don't forget to sign up for notifications. Talk to you soon.